one of my ex-partners and I, we were kids together. We built a boat in his garage, 20 foot, 21 foot, and we used it on the Hudson River. Matter of fact, we used to watch it uh, drive under the Tappan Zee Bridge when they were building the Tappan Zee Bridge, and we used to give them the finger and they'd throw river at us. That's what we did with our boat. And I started here in 59, I was 57. I spent two years down there, and uh, Tobin Craft was a company. My family had uh, invested in this corporation, mm -hmm. Tobin Craft Incorporated. Actually, we were, went public. Most of the, the tricks, what do you call them, the sub-skills, uh, I learned from an old gentleman down in, in Jersey that just somehow took a liking to me. And he said, Artie, you, you really take into this. Can I work with you and show you what I know? I said, sure. And what we did down there, and we took away everybody's ruler. And we made templates. And everything was templated. All you did was lay it on, cut it out, and put it on. I said, get rid of the stupids. That's what I used to say. And some of them, I, I, I remember them, what he used to call them, this is the bird's mouth, and there's your, there's your stop water. When you're building a keel, and the stem come down, you put it in, and you mount the keel to the stem. There's a brace in there, and you have to cut that bird's bird mouth just perfect so, so that, that fits in. You have to drill a hole through the joint, put a, a wooden plug in there, a wooden dowel, and that's what was called a stop water. So when the stem would move, that stop, the water couldn't go up around it and had to go out. That was one of the things I remember from him. Well, I was looking for a place in the area. I, I, I lived in Yonkers. And uh, I said, okay, let's find a place up here. So I found a place. It was in Dubs Ferry. I found a place in Dubs Ferry. And we made arrangements to buy the property. I got a hold of the New York Central. And we made arrangements with New York Central to move this station and put up a marina and boat building place. We had the backing, and at the last minute, Dobbs Ferry said no. <laughs> Find someplace else, and we come up and we found this place. I got it, got into this place here, and then it, after that, it was just seven days a week. Because this was a, this building here was a seaplane hangar, and it had a truss roof, and it burned down. So what we did was I raised the, the piers and made a 14-foot ceiling because I needed that height to put the jig down. So we put these beams up and put the roof on. Matter of fact, I put these beams up with a, oh, I think it was a 1949 Chevrolet and a gym pole. I went on a four-part pull. And we solved that problem. We got a roof and we started build boats. This was a, what we call a trunk cabin. This was a bigger one. It was the same size hull, but it was different inside. It had a galley in it. You see, this is before I even put the walls up. One of my slides, steam bed frames. There was a, a, a jig that I made that came down off the ceiling right here. Came down off the ceiling, a strong back, and it planked to the frame. You took the, the jig out, and you bet to put these uh, the ribs in. We call them ribs. Uh, I only made two models. I made one without a hard top and one with a hard. And I made only three or four of the ones that they call a cabin cruiser. I made everything out of mahogany. That see, with the with the mahogany, you had to put them in and you had to soak them, so they would seal and soak them, and and the wood would swell and they wouldn't leak. This is the boat. This is what you see right here. There's the boat, the hull being framed, and the, there's the plank. Then it went from there to here. And this is where we put the motor beds in and the engine in and mm -hmm. the forward deck on. This is where we started to finish it off. This is my brother. That's a Long Island Marathon boat. And we won it. This is my driver. This is his crew. This is my brother. I think this is a salesman. I 
had working for us. That's the shelf. So we had, uh, I put an auxiliary tank on, I think they had to stop for fuel once. It's 150 miles around yeah, Long Island. There's, there's a picture of them from the Long Island Marathon. All I did was build a boat and test it. It worked. They got out from under. That's me testing it. You recognize the hat.